Hey guys, I'm Daniel Springs. Today I've got an all new review for www.smokinghookah.com. Today's review is going to be on some Nicola tobacco. Today's flavor is going to be uh, mint flavor. Um, mint's not really my favorite flavor of shisha uh, because I smoke menthol cigarettes for the longest time, but I'm not going to dog this stuff because it's really not a bad mint flavor. Uh, when you open the package, you'll smell it. And it's going to smell like a spearmint. I actually have a mint plant here because um, I've made some Cuban mojitos and it calls for uh, the mint to be uh, the mint sprigs in it. So I'm going to compare the flavor of an actual mint to the mint shisha. Now one thing I'm going to warn you about this, this is the tobacco. It says tobacco across the top, you can see that. So it's going to have nicotine in it, it's going to have 0.5% nicotine. So you will get a buzz out of this stuff. And Nicola is a great tobacco. I mean, I, I can't stress it enough that it is a great tobacco if you're looking for that buzz. If you're not looking for that buzz, there's hookah filters you can put on your hose, and it filters out all the nicotine, and you don't have to worry about that. So keep that in mind. Okay. Like I said, I'm not a real big fan of mint, and I'm not a real big fan of cleaning up after mint. So um, I'm going to tell you this about mint. Mint will stay in your hookah for a while after you smoke it. So you want to clean your hookah right after you smoke. Like let it cool down after you've smoked. Clean it really well because that mint flavor will stick around. And you're going to get a mint uh, flavor in any other shisha that you try to smoke if you don't try to clean your hookah right after you smoke this mint. Um, the tobacco, when you open it up, like I said, it comes in this box. It's going to come wrapped in this, and then you're going to get your tobacco in like a cellophane packaging. It is a brick, um, and it's not very wet. I mean, it's it's wet for Nicola. This is, um, I'm going to say it's a mild wetness to it um, because they've got to get that, that flavor in there, and that mint flavor is going to stick. And um, it's, it's definitely one of the wetter Nicolas that I've seen. And um, what you want to do, since it's a brick, you want to break it down in your bowl before you uh, set your bowl up. And uh, I'm using the ice chamber and the sogook and some ice in the base just to make that make that smoke real dense and real smooth. I mean, you really don't have to do too much because Nicola is a pretty good smooth tobacco as it is. You get a nice thickness out of the smoke. Really good flavor. The mint in this, um, as soon as you start drawing off the hookah, you can feel it right in the back of your throat. And then you can just feel it start going down your throat and into your lungs. And it's a really cooling sensation. It's almost like if you were to like take a piece of ice and crunch it up in your mouth and then swallow bits of ice. Really cooling, refreshing sensation that you get out of this. So I've just got a little bowl on here. I've probably got about 10 grams set up in that. And it's smoking really well. Now, um, if you set up in a regular bowl, your burn time is going to be probably about an hour and a half. I mean, I can throw a... Uh, Lemonara on top of my bowl, and I'll run out of charcoal before I run out of flavor and shisha. So this has got a really good burn time. It just depends on you because it depends on how many people you're smoking with, how big your bowl is. I mean, I'm setting up on a small bowl, so I'm probably going to get about an hour out of this bowl. Um, the flavor tastes like mint, tastes like a spearmint. Now I'm going to compare that flavor for you. I'm going to just kind of chew on a little mint sprig here. You can see the mint sprig. And 
and that's real identical. Um, it, I mean, it's it's down to a T. It tastes exactly the same. They're identical flavors. So mint, it's right on the money with that. You're going to get complete mint flavor out of this. So if you have mint and you want to make a mint drink to go along with this, that would be a great idea because um, it, it just it tastes identical. Like I said, thick clouds of smoke off this. Nicole is great, so you're going to get that buzz. Uh, it's not really a messy shisha, but you do need to break it apart by hand, and then you'll have to clean up your hands afterwards. It um, it's it's wet for Nicola, like I said. Um, Nicola is generally dry tobacco. Um, what they do is they they just give you enough molasses to uh, keep that shisha wet and keep that flavor in it, and uh, and you're you're good to go. I mean, like there's a lot of shisha out there that's just really saturated with molasses. This isn't one. Uh, the cleanup, the bowl you can pull right off and it doesn't drip out the bottom. So you can set up in a normal bowl, you don't need a vortex bowl or anything like that. A vortex bowl is a good idea, but you don't have to have a vortex or a funnel bowl to smoke this stuff because it doesn't make a big mess. But like I said, you get that nice, that nice menthol-y feeling down in your chest feels feels really cool and refreshing uh, but like I said do make sure you clean your hookah right after you smoke this stuff if you don't want your mint flavor to uh, kind of contaminate your other flavors during uh, other sessions so you get the tobacco it's got nicotine in it you'll get a buzz off of it this is a good tobacco to get a buzz off of shisha's wet you have to break it apart um, Smoke time, depending on you, depending on how many people you've got smoking on your hookah, how many um, coals you've got set up, how big your bowl is, how big your setup is. It's just all dependent on you. Um, and the, the flavor is really good. Like I said, it's identical to mint. You get good smoke out of this, good smoke clouds. Um, so... If you guys have any questions or comments about this, you can leave your questions or comments in the, uh, down below, or you can uh, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. I can answer your questions there. Um, and then um, I'm also running three blogs. You guys should check those out. Those will give you more information on hookah, more ideas, tips, tricks, stuff like that. Those will be in the description below. Also, I'd like to uh, thank SmokingKuka.com for making this video possible. Without them, this video would not be possible. So thank you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys could subscribe, that would keep you updated on all the new products coming out, on all my new videos. Um, so that will keep you updated just as soon as those come out. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. This is a great shisha. Nicola is a really good shisha, so go check that out. Um, but thank you guys for smoking. I'm Daniel Springs. Keep smoking.